People, please help me here. Yeah. Um, insurance purposes, scientific purposes. When is it considered that the building is below the flat line? When the water is running through the living room? Or when it's uh, saturated the foundation? Um, I would like to hear your views about that in the comment section. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Petrus without Pardet. Gonna try and make a extreme boating video today that's included in the beach walk video. Winter South Easterly here on the beach with a chill factor. Should have brought my jacket. It's not even February yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we can see on the color line there the water level has receded a lot. Even with the high, high tide we had today, there was no chance of the estuary mouth opening. So this is going to be have to be a mechanical fix. We've seen it right through two summers now that it's not going to naturally breach. The hydrologist that tampered with the system they knew exactly what they were doing to change the dynamics so much that it will not naturally breach now this is the beach channel it's not the back channels like some scientific reports refer to if you look in the link in the description below you'll find a report one of the few reports that is available for free by dr taylor now i don't have money to buy the other reports they roughly about 32 dollars and they're going up to 100 to maybe 300 dollars for a full report so what i use to gather my information is old um Provincial government, Natal Provincial Government management plans and the reports that was attached to them. That's what I base my knowledge on. And what I was taught by Natal Parksport when they still had the auditorium running and the videos and the workshops they held there. So that's what I base my knowledge on. But in, the, in this document, that you'll find in the link below dr taylor describes a lot of the management decisions that was taken over the last hundred years and the reasons why they were taken it's short and sweet descriptions but it 
if you read it to understand the content a lot of things will make sense but if you read to make assumptions from the content nothing will make sense read the document please to understand the content and a lot of things will make sense to you okay, as we can see the water level has receded again so there's no amount of push from the Mfalosi River is going to open the estuary mouth. I think we've now proven that. So yes, the water levels is high. Higher than the high water mark. And that is higher than the scientists um, originally planned to raise the fresh water level in the estuarine system. So it's higher than the scientific flood level. It's ecstatic, we can walk the streets without me shouting at her when she crossed the street or run in the park. There's just nobody in St. Lucia. No cars driving around, no people walking around. We're completely oh, alone. What's in your Dani Boomer? Wacht, jy kan nie oor gaan nie. Ok, gaan. Wat sien jy daar? Huh? There's quite a bit of business at Banana Box happening. A lot of movement, traffic. That's nice to see. We're behind station 40 NSRI and Pardet is playing somewhere. Hide and go seek with me. No, there she is. Looking for something at a stump. Another tree interest ADHD, definitely. Look, Daddy, look, 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 it's here. No, 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 it's over here. Oh, that tree normally keeps her interested for quite some time. Daddy, it's a this tree over here, wait. This one? No, this one. See, ADHD. But it's a good goal today. There's all those monkeys on the ground and she's not charging them. Ocean Grill above Wimpy off Dolphin Street where you can come and sit and watch the beach launch videos and uh, sip on some cocktails. Find them on Facebook and see what beautiful cocktails Gwen is making. Ladies and gentlemen, Ledico Lodge, if you want some privacy and tranquility, now January, February, March is the time to book in here. Find the link in the description below and book directly with them. Monkeys in the bottom of Pelican Street. Troop is scattered or there's a couple of troops in town, either or. The entrance to the Insan Villa offices or the auditorium as we know it. Some crested guinea fowl. Yes, they've got babies as well. Beautiful little chicks running with them. Just look at that. Monkeys here. The corner of Pelican and Albatross Street. They are upset with Pardet's presence. And Pardet is literally doing nothing. Listen to that monkey. Pretty confident he's going to attack Pardet. Pardet found herself a tree stump. The monkeys are still chatting, screaming at her, and we are already a mile away.
Iguala Guala walking trail Lately very famous for the green Malkoa Apparently it's a lifer Groen Fly Luri I haven't got a photo of it yet um, I didn't know it's such an important bird For the birders Sorry guys, I'll pay more attention Getting videos and pictures of the green Malkoa for you What's scary about the whole story of the saga surrounding the opening of St. Lucia Estuary Mouth is nobody is doing sediment density measurements at the moment. Now there's quite a few conflicting reports floating around but somewhere um, there's a report floating around on the research gate of Dr. Barry Clark um, expressing his concern about the sediment density of the water. I'll put the water level at roughly about 750-800 millimeters above the high tide mark. A rough estimate. It's not scientifically correct, I know, but I don't think I'm far out. Remember, this was one of my water level update spots. I don't come here often because it's very hot in the afternoon, and I need to get pardet some water. By this time of our react. Super mantig is daar in met pardet, maar dan maak ek net so met my met my mono stick. Hey, kijkie. 